In 1985, Kim and I had a plan to acquire two new rental units a year. We began buying our first property in 1989. Once we had five units, our economic power was five squared, or 25. Not only did our economic power go up, our confidence had also gone up as our experience went up. When we purchased that 12-unit apartment house, our leverage ratio was 1 to 17, and our economic power was 1 to 17 squared, or 289. Others who only had their home and did not purchase investment property during the downturn had their real estate ratio remain 1 to 1, and their economic power remain at 1. For Kim and me, our goal for the year 2005 is to have 1,000 rental units or more in our portfolio. The question is, what is the economic power of 1,000 squared? Metcalf's law explains why my rich dad was eventually earning more in a year than my poor dad earned all his life. Metcalf's law also explains why tortoises can beat hares if they continue to acquire assets rather than work for money as many a rabbit often does. Network Marketing Business After understanding Metcalf's law, I knew why network marketing organizations offer such a powerful tool to average people like you and me. But before I get into this further, let's review the cash flow quadrant for a moment and see how network marketing can facilitate movement from employee to investor. As you may remember, the four quadrants of the cash flow quadrant are designated in the following way. E, which stands for employee or someone who works for security or benefits. And this is above the S, which stands for self-employed or small business owner. People like doctors, lawyers, or accountants who work for themselves. On the other side of the quadrant, we find the B, which stands for business owners, people who have others work for them. Below that is the I, which stands for investor, people who make money with money. They do not have to work because their money is working for them. Now, how does network marketing fit into the quadrant? Here's an example. A person from the E or S quadrant decides to join a network marketing organization and learns to move to the B quadrant. He or she works for a year or two, gaining the required education and mindset. But it is not much different than being in the E or S quadrant. It is still one-to-one -one squared, with an economic power of one. But suddenly, in the third year, this person's context is expanded because they have new content, and all of a sudden they now attract and train three strong candidates who also want to build the business. Their leverage ratio is now one to three, with economic power of nine. In three years, that is a quantum leap of power. After five years, let's say this person now has a network of ten people. With this change, their leverage ratio is 1 to 10, with economic power of 100. Now let's say this person decides that 10 people are enough, and he or she focuses only on the 10 people in his or her business. After just a few years, let's say the 10 people in his network also have 10 people, 1 to 10 to 10. This means the original person now has 100 people in his network, 